As you can see on the screen, these are the five patterns in the A minor pentatonic scale that we've won over previously. Each pattern in the A minor pentatonic scale is a pattern for any minor pentatonic scale and even major, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Once you know these positions, they can translate into any key, any minor or major key. So let's talk about the minor keys first. So for the A minor pentatonic scale, we start in the fifth fret. The first position starts in the fifth fret because that is an A. We're starting on the A note in the A minor pentatonic scale and then it all translates from there. Now, if you wanted to play in the key of B minor, let's say, okay? All you have to do is figure out where's the B on the sixth fret string. So let's figure it out, okay? So if you know your notes, we have A in the fifth fret, right? Uh, and then we go A sharp, because that's in between A and B, and then, then we go B, okay? So there's a sharp or a flat in between the A and B. So you're not gonna go to that sixth fret, you're gonna go to that seventh fret for the B, okay? And so it translates all the way down. We have, you know, E is the open note, so if you know that, you can kind of go up if you know your notes. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, or, you know, A flat and stuff, A. A sharp or B flat, B on the seventh fret. So if you want to do the B minor pentatonic scale, all you have to do is shift all the positions over. And if you know all the patterns, this will be very easy. We now do position one pattern, but we start it on the seventh fret. So the position one pattern for the A minor pentatonic scale started in the fifth fret, right? We, we keep going up, do, 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 do. Well, same exact pattern shifted to the seventh fret. Now we're in the key of B, B minor, right? And then from there, you would do the second position, third position, and so on. What about the key of C? Key C minor, anyway. Key of C minor. That was the key of B minor. Key of C minor, okay, well, eighth fret, C. So start position one on the eighth fret. Same exact thing. Position one all the way up the fretboard and then you add position two three four five, you know and So on so that's how you do it You just have to know where you're starting on the sixth string where the notes are and then you go from there So let's go over that really quick just in case you don't know because this will make it easy just to get it done So if you want to do the F minor pentatonic scale You're in the fret one F sharp two or G flat um, minor, these are all minors, okay? G minor or G sharp or A flat minor is in the fourth fret. We have the A, you already know. We go up to the A sharp or B flat in the sixth. We just talked about B minor in the seventh. B does not have a sharp. So we go to C right from B, okay? And then right after that, we go to the ninth fret, C sharp or D flat. D in the tenth fret, D sharp or E flat in that. 11th fret, and then, whoa, we got E in that 12th fret that we've talked about before. The octave of each string is the 12th fret. So E is an open E, 12th fret, E. So you can actually, the trick here is you can start the E minor pentatonic scale in the 12th fret. You totally can do that. Or if you want a more open sound for some reason, you can come down here, since the open note is an E, you're gonna be playing open notes in that position, the position one of the E minor pentatonic scale. But you're not gonna use those first notes. The first notes are just gonna be the open chords, or sorry, open notes. And then you're gonna play the second notes on each string. So to show you, for example, the first position of the E minor pentatonic scale, you're gonna do open, then third fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, third fret, open, third fret on each string from the sixth string down. And then, you know, if you wanna go backwards, third fret, open, third fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, third fret, open. So if you wanna do that, it's kinda tricky, you know, but it's also kind of cool. All right, so that's the minor pentatonic scales, right? You can do any minor pentatonic scale now. But let's see how we do major with this. Well, if you, from previous videos or the video linked in the description, 
you learned with me that every minor key has a relative major and vice versa. So the key of A minor, let's go back to that, the key of A minor, the, the relative key for the key of A minor is the key of C major. So they're, they're tight, they're relatives. They have the same members of the family, right? They're relatives. Meaning they have the same notes and the same chords, they just fall in a different order. So key of C is really easy to talk about because we've all seen a piano before. The key of C, all the white keys are in the key of C. There's no sharps or flats in the key of C and all the black keys are sharps and flats. So it's really easy to look at a piano and go, I know, you know, what notes are in the key of C. But when you look at a guitar, you're like, whoa, what notes are in the key of C? <laughs> it doesn't tell you very clearly where the sharps or the flats are like a piano does. So that's why the patterns are very handy. Well, if we know that the key of C major is a relative of A minor and we already know the A minor pentatonic scale, all we have to do is find the position that starts with a C and we go from there, okay? Because when we're starting a scale, whenever that note starts with, usually the scale starts with the name of the key when you're starting from the beginning of the scale. That's why position one in the A minor pentatonic scale starts on an A. Let's look at that. Here are all the positions in the A minor pentatonic scale. As you can see, position one starts on the A, position two starts on the C. So all you have to do to play in the key of C major, after memorizing these five positions, and any major key for that matter, but specifically this key of C major is go, now position two is position one. I know it's kind of weird, but in the major scale, position two of the minor scale is position one of the major scale. So then it would shift just like this. Now position two is position one, because now we're in the key of C, we start on the C. And then position three of the minor scale is now position two of the major scale, and so on. So they all shift just like this. You can find any major key from there, because now we know, okay, the position two pattern is now position one for the major scale, well, now all I have to do is translate that to all of the notes I just showed you here. So like if you're in the key of C, for example, and you're, you know, playing position one now in the C of, key of C major, but, you know, it's position two for the minor that we learned. You know, we start on the C for that one, right? And keep going. Well, if we want to do a D major, we just start on the D note and then do the exact same pattern and then shift all the other patterns over because they all share a note. So isn't that amazing that you, you only need to know five positions, five patterns. And once you know those and you memorize those, you can play in any major or minor key with the pentatonic scale. Now I know this information is a lot to take in. And if you have any questions, we do have a membership program where you know you just pay a monthly fee, you can get your questions answered and live, and I can show demonstrations and whatever you need. We also have workshops and everything depending on the membership level you want. Check it out and see if that's something that you'd be interested in. Or you can definitely leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer it when I get the chance.